uh, this is why I'm up here and not on the mat. <laughs> That's why we're both up here. 16 <laughs> 6. <laughs> Panthers lead in the team score as we go to 133 pounds. Redshirt senior Mickey Phillippe, ranked number seven in the nation, taking on sophomore Mark Montgomery. Phillippe, a second place finish at the Mat Men tournament. And a takedown here from Montgomery, and now he'll give the escape off of a poor shot from Phillippe. Montgomery, a second place finish at the F&M Open on Friday. So over the years, we've always known Mickey's been a really good defensive wrestler. I, I think when we talked to Coach earlier, he mentioned trying to get a little bit more aggressive offensively. So we saw that there very early to start this period, but Mickey was not able to guard against that counter shot. Yeah, not, and here's the thing, you know, you, you, not one of his best shots there in that to start the match, but he's got so much time to make it up. I don't think it's it's something that should hinder him. You know, keep shooting. You know, keep. This is the time to be able to take those shots and you know get the practice in live situations before you get into a, a situation where you're at NCAA's and you need that takedown and you're not sure you know where you're going to get it because you haven't you know been as aggressive on your feet in dual meets. And that's really the last, I think, step for, for Mickey is just making that final breakthrough at NCAAs. He's, he's gotten really close a couple times and, and just one match away from being an All-American and just can't seem to get over that hump. So I think this year, if, if he's going to have success, maybe it's being a little bit more aggressive and, and taking that action to your opponent. Yeah, losses in the blood round for Philippi, NCAA qualifier, ACC runner-up last year. Shot attempt by Montgomery. Phillippe wanted to spin behind. Unable to finish. 50 seconds to go in the opening period. A 2-1 lead for Montgomery. Certainly the most action we've seen so far in an opening frame out of any of the matches so far. Phillippe, nice outside single. Gets behind Montgomery. Just has to get him down to the mat. And he will do just that right on the edge to take a three to two lead. And what was he able to do differently there in that second shot that he wasn't able to do on the first shot? He just got some nice, he got deeper on that shot. You know, he's able to set him up, drag to a nice outside single, and just being able to finish from there. And it's, it's just kind of putting your combinations together. And, you know, that first shot, I think he just kind of dove in where the second shot he's able to get combinations and the outside single pays off as 15 seconds remaining in this period he wants to ride the balance three two lead for Philippi and looks like that will be the score at the end of the first <laughs> Philippi will go on the bottom for the second. Some action there. Saw so takedowns by each wrestler in the opening period. Sometimes with Mickey, you see a, a really good defensive battle in those opening frames, but a little bit more action today. Gets that quick escape, too, to take a 4-2 lead. Now right away in on an inside single. And he's going to finish. <laughs> Tell you what, I, I like this style from Philippi. I mean, I, I like, he clearly has the ability to, to be an aggressive wrestler. And from what I've seen here in the first three plus minutes of this match, now he cuts him loose. He's going to try to get back onto the offense again. Dives underneath, get that leg. Good scramble there, but you can just see the aggressiveness from Philippi that I'm not sure we we've seen in the past years. Well, Gavin mentioned uh, he's feels like he's wrestling a, a top level right now, and you know, he's exactly where he needs to be, and no doubt about it, he mentioned taking more shots, and that's you know, it's all about being aggressive, and you can see the speed from Phillippe. He's so quick. And just the shot changes and the level changes. It leads 6-3 here with 55 seconds to go in the second. 
Montgomery, too. He's He's been impressive. He's fought off a couple of those shots, obviously picked up the first takedown of the match. But he's, he's making it tough on Mickey to finish these shots. He's got to string together a couple combinations. Mickey's been in behind a couple times, too, and hasn't been able to finish. There's another chance, and then just spins around and gets the two-point takedown. Philippe does a nice job countering to a poor shot from Montgomery to be able to get the two. Good action on the edge of the mat there. We, we've seen that a couple times. Uh, Nino had a, a nice takedown at the edge of the mat, Mickey there. So obviously you want to wrestle until you hear that whistle, especially on the edge of the mat. So it's 8-3, Philippi out in front, 12 seconds remaining in the second period. Panthers up 16 to six overall in the duel. After giving up a fall at 174, they've been able to win every match since. And then Mickey here takes an 8-3 lead in the third period. So he's looking to continue that success. Ride time at a minute and two seconds for Philippi. So he's gonna give the escape as Montgomery chooses bottom to start the period. So it's 8-4 now for Philippi. Ride time point will make it nine. So he needs a couple takedowns here in this period to give the Panthers a major decision. Trying to pop his head out the back end there. It's mid game, we got a stalemate call. So they'll reset here back on their feet. Mickey there, even on the, he's on his toes waiting for that whistle. And just as soon as he hears that, just explodes. Gets in on a single there. Montgomery tries to roll through, but Mickey stays with him and gets behind for the two point takedown. And he'll give the escape. Ten five, Philippi out in front. One fifteen to go in the third period. Nice drag by for Philippi. Just needs to try to finish on the edge of the mat. Trying to drag him back in. Cannot do so before they go out. One minute to go in the third. 10-5, Philippi out in front. He does have the ride time points, so the takedown here would put him in a major decision. From his ability to press the action today, I, I think certainly he's got bonus points on his mind. That's for sure. Now there's stalling call, so a penalty point's going to be awarded to Philippi, and he gets the takedown as well. So now he's up 13-5 with 40 seconds to go in the third. We certainly know he can ride, but let's see what he tries to do here. He's got that major if he wants, if he's content with that. Now he's going to work from the top position a little bit, maybe positioning for a tilt of some sort. Panthers would certainly like to get a fall at some point in this match. Well, now you're thinking you got the ride time points, you got the ma major decision in hand. A four-point near fall gives you the technical fall. It's going to be tough to make that up in takedowns. So, good heads up here by Philippi. Made the effort, but the ride time point gives him a 14-5 major decision win. He makes it 20 to six Panthers. So that was my first chance to, to see Mickey this year, Greg, actually, in person. And I like the aggressive style. And I know he's picked up a couple losses early.